January 2018. A new Jaguar is heading down the production line. But this vehicle is unlike anything the company has made before. This is the I-Pace. Jaguar's first ever electric car and the front runner in a transport revolution. We've decided to go into this challenge sooner rather than later because we are Jaguar, because our history is about innovation, because we're not frightened of the new. Designed from the ground up, the I-Pace is engineered to be tough. With aerodynamic lines and a long-range battery, powering an exhilarating drive. This is the story of how this radical new car was made and of how it changes everything. The I-PACE project began with the highest ambition, to make the world's finest electric car. But achieving this would push Jaguar's designers and engineers to the limit. It's the first big change in 100 years in the motor industry, and that's a real challenge for us. Designing a brand new car is no easy task. It would take nearly four years from first sketch to finished vehicle. But going electric and needing no engine comes with sizable benefits, giving the design team far greater freedom in shaping the car. So we yeah. move the people forward, so we'll put the cabin yeah. like so, yeah? So it's actually heading towards the front wheels. Very different, but I think this... Uh, I think it'll work. I think I it's going to work. Really, really yeah. nice proportion. So it's all about the drama of the front haunch and then the rear haunch sweeping back. This cab forwards design has given the I-Pace ample room for five large adults. None of this would have been possible with a conventional engine at the front. Powering the I-Pace is a sophisticated long-range battery. So this is one of our early prototypes of the battery. It's fairly large. It basically fits from the rear wheels to the front wheels. So the lowest point of this battery is the lowest point of the vehicle. The heart of this battery is the cell, which is not dissimilar to what you'd find in a tablet or a mobile phone, but we have a lot more of them. We have 432 in this pack. And there's a lot of infrastructure that facilitates the control and the cooling and ultimately the performance of this battery. This new temperature-controlled battery allows the I-Pace to travel 480 kilometers on a single charge. So we've got to a point where the range of an electric vehicle is something that people can relate to their daily lives. But there's more to this new battery technology than range alone. Fast charging points are springing up worldwide giving the I-Pace a charge time from empty to 80% of less than 45 minutes. And with artificial intelligence technology to recognize the driver from their key fob and calculate the car's range based on their driving style and regular journeys, the I-Pace is at the forefront of the electric revolution. Back in the design studio, the result of months of creative effort is gradually beginning to show. And not just on a computer screen. This is technical modeling clay. Ian Asprey's job is to cut it to shape. It is great to see it coming out of just a lump of clay.
This has got people's handprints on it and thumb prints on it and hard work and sweat. The drill bit follows a pre-programmed route, shaping the car with utmost precision. Well, from start to finish, with rough cuts and finished cuts, we could probably do a full car in about five days. I feel like it's an important moment because it's, it's the birth of something, really, isn't it? But nothing can replace human skills when it comes to shaping the clay. The human element to it is massively important um, because without that love and care that you, you know, put into a model, it wouldn't be the same. You're sculpting your car, you're using clay and you're using tools to make something come alive. It is a sculpture in a sense. With the clay model nearing completion, Ian Callum arrives for one of his regular inspections. Hi guys. You alright? Not too bad. Good. Not too bad. Yeah. Okay, and what do you think? Well I think, I think it's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The definition of the cabin and the haunches sits just right. No, it's super. It's got all the power towards the front, and uh, yeah, I love it. But the stunning shape of the I-Pace is more than just the work of the designers. The engineering team also play a crucial role. And with prototype cars now available, they're preparing for a vital test. One that will influence the shape of the car and the range of its battery. The test? Aerodynamics. This is a full-scale wind tunnel, which can go up to 260 kilometers an hour. And it's something that is controlled just by a press of a button. So until you come in here, you have no idea exactly the sheer size of what's behind your test. And this really allows us to identify where key tweaks and changes, how they're impacting the rest of the flow on the vehicle. It's a really, really powerful visual technique for that. This is one of the first prototypes that we've actually built with a real bodywork, but we still have some prototype parts on the car itself. We've done lots of work on clay models, uh, calculations, but now this is a real car. Truth time. Tell us when to stop. It's our first electric vehicle, which means that something like aerodynamics is even more important. So, uh, yeah. We have to try and optimise it as much as we possibly can. Even millimetres of changes hugely impacts the range of the vehicle. We're looking good? In today's test, the team are analysing one of the I-PACE's most striking features, the air bypass. The bypass, it's oh, definitely working there. Yeah. Oh, lovely, that's good. Yeah. With no engine, the air flows in through the grill and out through the duct. So what we're able to see with the smoke is the air being diverted through that duct and actually creating a much better angle onto that front windscreen, which hugely impacts the aerodynamics and ultimately the range of the vehicle as well. Tests like this have resulted in a car that slices cleanly through the air, greatly increasing the distance it can travel on a single charge. The I-PACE is so aerodynamic 
and its electric motors so silent that exterior noise could easily spoil the cabin's tranquility. So engineers are trying to identify where noise might enter the car. Now, what we have here is an acoustic camera. So for instance, if I was to click like this, it moves to my fingers because of the high energy level created at my fingertips. Today, the team are using the camera to analyze the dashboard of this prototype car. That there is the perfect view, wherever you've got that. Yeah, okay. cool, that's perfect. Hey, mate, you're good to go. Okay, fire up the rig. This kind of testing ensures that the I-PACE will be as refined as any other Jaguar. Ultimately, our aim is to create the most refined battery electric vehicle on the market today. Whether that's road noise, motor noise, wind noise, anything, we need to just get down to as low a level as possible. But making a near-silent electric car creates another challenge. Like all Jaguars, the I-PACE is designed to be fun. Ian Suffield's job is to ensure it sounds fun too. If I just start with the, the first car model that we've got, I will then go in and add some sound at about somewhere between sort of 50 to 100 kilometers an hour, such that it represents when you're accelerating up so you get the sense of power of the car. In the electric I-PACE, there's no engine noise to give dynamic feedback to the driver. So Ian is creating his own. It will play through the car's speakers. The next layer of sound I introduce to, to progress is from about 100 kilometers upwards. This is where the sound starts getting a little bit edgier, a little bit sharper. As if that's not enough, right at the very top end, above about 140, I've got a another sound that comes in that's even edgier still. So this is us absolutely flooring it. And we've got our lovely race car howl there. You get the real sense of actually, you really want to pull this car forward. And it's in line with our heritage. It's, you know, we have a history of making great sounding, really fast cars. So uh, this one needs to be no exception. But an exciting sounding car isn't enough. The team also want it to be tough. So they've brought a prototype to Jaguar's proving ground for a high impact test. Sophisticated sensors fitted by the engineers will record how the I-PACE copes with severe bumps on the road. Okay, Doug, we're ready. cycles through different tests on different surfaces. But this is only the start, because the information gathered here is now taken back to the engineering lab, where the car is really put through its paces. This test will run for the next eight weeks. The I-PACE, it's a new step for us, but we still test it to the same level as we would any other product. But there's more to this car than its robustness. The I-PACE is a Jaguar through and through. So the team have come to Italy to ensure it drives like one. This is the Nardo ring. A banked circle of tarmac so large it can be seen from space. It's one of the few places on Earth where cars can be constantly pushed to the limit. Today, the I-PACE is being tested at maximum velocity. 
VMAX. But regular pit stop safety checks are essential. Clear. All good. Clear. Okay. Yeah. Clear. Okay. Okay. With the midday temperature at 35 degrees. Okay, your side? Yeah, okay, this side. The team carefully monitor the heat generated by the car's constant high speed cornering. We have to keep a, a close eye on the wear and tear of the brake pads. Some of them can reach up to 650 degrees. Coming down. Pit stop complete. The car heads back to the track. You ready, Steve? Clear. It's hot, tiring work. Yet the team are determined that the I-Pace will drive like a true Jaguar. But Italy was only the beginning. In total, the team clocked up over 1.5 million test miles worldwide. Even at minus 40 in the Arctic. On their mission to make the world's finest electric car. This is the I-Pace. The first all-electric performance SUV from Jaguar. The future now. <laughs>